Hello and very warm welcome once again to the latest episode of the Tax Express. This video is an important one as we are going to discuss another important judgment of Honorable Kerala High Court in the case of Hena Medicals versus State Tax Officer delivered on 4th of October 2023. In this judgment, the only issue before the Honorable Court was whether GST authorities are justified in denying the ITC claim of the taxpayer merely on the basis of non-reflection of the same in GSTR 2A. In this case, the department sought to deny the benefit of ITC to the taxpayer on the pretext that the input claimed by him in 3B is not reflected in his GSTR 2A. The Honorable Court took note of the Supreme Court judgment in the case of State of Karnataka versus Ecom Gill Coffee Trading Private Limited and Honorable Calcutta High Court in the case of Suncraft Energy Private Limited. The court also took note of its earlier judgment in the same issue in case of Dia Agencies versus State Tax Officer which was delivered on 12th September 2023. It may be noted that Honorable Supreme Court delivered a significant judgment in the case of Ecom Gill, wherein it was held that the burden of proving genuineness of ITC lies with the claimant and mere fact that payment was made through banking channels and goods were purchased against invoices is not sufficient. The claimant must produce other documentary evidence such as proof of having received goods, payment of freight, vehicle details, etc. among other things. Further taking note of its own earlier decision in the case of DIA agencies, the court referred to paragraph 8 of that judgment wherein it was laid down that mere non-reflection of certain invoices into A should not be a sufficient ground for not allowing ITC to the claimant. Accordingly, the matter is remanded back to the authorities below to re-examine the claim of the taxpayer through documentary evidence and the taxpayer is directed to appear before the jurisdictional authorities to submit documentary evidence in support of his claim. If after examination, the assessing officer is convinced that the claim is genuine and bona fide, ITC should be allowed. The court found that the present case is squarely covered by this earlier judgment and accordingly the court remanded the matter to be re-examined afresh by the lower authority and further directed them to pass fresh orders. The taxpayer was also directed to appear in person before the authority concerned. So this is another significant judgment by the Honorable Kerala High Court on the issue of GSCR 2A versus 3B. We have been kept saying that GSTR 2A cannot be a valid criterion for disallowing genuine ITC to the taxpayer as there was no such condition precedent in the law itself. GSTR 2B was introduced only with effect from January 2021. In the case of Bharti Airtel, the Honorable Supreme Court has said that GSTR 2A is only in the nature of taxpayer facilitation. Though CBIC has issued circular number 183 for amicable resolution of disputes regarding difference between 2A and 3B, that circular mandates the taxpayer to submit copies of invoices along with certificates from their respective vendors who have failed to show the invoices in 2A. It may be noted that while circular is binding on the GST authorities, the taxpayer is not bound by it and can at his option avail the benefit of the circular. We have seen that 2A versus 3B has been a bone of contention between the taxpayer and the department in the initial years of GST implementation and judgments like this will serve as a source of relief to the genuine taxpayer even though we must realize that burden of proving the bona fides of ITC claimed rests on the taxpayer himself and he has to discharge this burden beyond reasonable doubt by substantiating his claim as has been laid down by the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Ecom Gill. This was the latest update from GST. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for continue to receive regular tax updates. Thank you very much.